to use the slash method and make a sloping shoulder front that matches. When we're finished from this point to this point on the front and the same this point to this point on the back, once the dart is closed, will be the same distance and the same angle. That's what we need. So we are going to make a line somewhere down the shoulder seam, down to right under the arm's eye. It needs to be parallel to the center front. You don't want to mess with your arm's eye, so make sure that you can clear that. We don't want to mess with the darts, so we don't want to go too, too far. I'm just going to make a line somewhere in there. Then we're going to make a line perpendicular to the center front that comes right at the base of the arm's eye on your seam line, not your seam allowance line, not your cut line. And we're just gonna swear that off. This is gonna be a right angle right here. We are gonna completely detach this piece, cut it off. Scissor control. It's totally detached. Comes totally off. I need a piece of tissue paper that fits the hole. That fits the hole. Okay. And I'm just going to tape that tissue paper in place so that it doesn't shift and go anywhere. Now this piece right here, this line, we wanna use it as a slider. Can you see how that piece is shifting back and forth? But we're not overlapping into the piece because we're not taking width out of the shirt. We just need to change the angle up here. So it needs to stay flush to this line, but we are going to overlap it a quarter of an inch down here. So that is going to be where the new piece sits. We're just going to slide it straight down, line it up on that line, and tape it in place. So now our seam lines and our cut lines do not match. So we need to redraw the angle. Original seam line to original seam line. This line no longer applies. Original cut line to original cut line. This line no longer applies. Then we're just gonna recut this out and recut down the arm's eye. I really only need the tissue paper right here. Everything else is gonna be pink, okay? So the only place you can see tissue paper is this teeny sliver up here. This line no longer is relevant. This line here, no longer relevant. Now my angle is different. Now if I take number three, and I fold in my dart, and I put right sides to right sides. Same angle, same distance. They're the same. Even though one we use slash method and one we use seam method. We still accomplished the same thing. All this one needs is labeling. It is a front. The bust line is important. The bust circle is important. 
Make sure you label your center front. This one is number four. It is a sloping shoulder. It is the slash method. We still took out a quarter of an inch. My name is Jen. This is a bodice front. Still a size 10 half scale. Does that make sense?